Well, we're in another episode of Johnny Talks Football. Today I'll go over the rest of the matchups for Week 12. Oakland and Tennessee. Now, Tennessee, believe it or not, has the fifth-ranked total defense in the NFL. But their offense is a bit of a struggle. So I'm going to pick Oakland to win this one. I just think Oakland has more weapons than Tennessee does. I like Oakland to win by seven points. Buffalo and Kansas City. Kansas City is on a, on a huge winning streak right now. But I like this to come to an end as I like Buffalo to win by seven points over Kansas City. Tampa Bay and Indianapolis. Now, Andrew Luck is not going to play in this one. It's going to be Matt Hasselbeck again this week. But I like the Colts to win this one by three points. Probably right at the end of the game, maybe the last minute. It's not going to come easy for him. Giants and Redskins. I'm going to pick the Giants to win this one, although I think the Redskins are going to make this close for a really long time in the game. But I just think Eli Manning is going to come through in the fourth quarter. Saints and Texans. Now the Texans are kind of like Kansas City. They're on a winning streak too. But like Kansas City, I like this to come to an end as well. I just think Drew Brees is going to dominate this one. I like him to throw four or five touchdown passes in this one. Your own's for the win. Minnesota and Atlanta. Now as an Atlanta fan, I will sit here and say that Minnesota is going to win this game. Just no question about it. The Falcons just not looked good ever since their overtime win against the Redskins. And coming from me, I think the Atlanta Falcons are only win one more game this season. I'm not going to say when it's going to be. I'll just say they're only going one more. St. Louis and Cincinnati. I like Cincinnati to win this one. Even though they're coming off a two-game losing streak, I like them to get back on the right track against St. Louis. San Diego, Jacksonville. I'm going to pick Jacksonville to win this one. I just think they're doing the best they've been doing for ever since they made the playoffs last. I think it was in well, a long time ago. It's kind of the best Jaguars team I've ever I've seen ever since I got into football. Miami even the Jets. I'm going to pick the Dolphins to win this one. I just think the Jets are just falling apart as, as by the seams as we know it. So I'm going to pick Miami to win this one by seven points. Arizona-San Francisco. There's not much to talk about in this one. Honestly, I think the Cardinals are going to win this one 38-10. to 10. If San Francisco makes it close for a while, I'll be surprised. Pittsburgh and Seattle. Now, this is probably the game of the week right here. It's a national... Televised game on CBS. Jim Nance is going to call that game with Phil Sims. I like Seattle to win this one in overtime, 27-24. New England and Denver. Now Peyton Manning is not going to play in this one. It's going to be Brock Osweiler at quarterback again. Although I don't think it's going to matter who's the quarterback. I just think New England is just too good. I like New England to stay undefeated. And finally the Monday night game, Baltimore and Cleveland. This is probably going to be the worst game of the week. Because both these teams are having a bad season. Cleveland, like usual, and Baltimore has lost Joe Flacco for the season. So it's going to be very likely that Matt Schaub is going to be the starting quarter for the rest of the season. But I'm going to pick Baltimore to win this one 17 to 13. And there are your picks for the week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have more videos coming. My next video, I will recap college football. What we. Saw from this weekend of college football, my rankings, and I'll talk about the coaching vacancies. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.